Welcome everyone, Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream, my energy focus for the week for the Empowered Spirit Podcast. Yay, this is where we come on, talk about what's going on for the week. We align our energy and we look to the cards for guidance as well. So here we are in the last quarter of the moon, right? We're waning, we're releasing, releasing, releasing. Thank goodness, thank goodness, because so much energy was built with the full moon, the eclipse season, all of that energy, all of that Capricorn, all of those planets moving direct into that Capricorn energy, really pushing us, really, really pushing us. And I know myself, I felt it. I know it. I've had a little bit of a struggle, I'll be honest, just really kind of keeping up and really kind of working with my energy. One of the reasons is because we are all being asked to get out of our own way. Never easy, right? We are asked to be get out of our own way, to let go of the things that aren't working, to really break some of the patterns, break some of your rituals, even break some of the things that you're doing so that you can move into this new energy, this new decade. So we're really being asked to it. And as we move through this week, we're really moving into a lot of that energy that is forcing us to do that. All right. As we start out the week, we're going to be a little bit trying to figure it all out still, releasing energy, getting back to work. We're also going into that phase where the moon gets darker and darker, right? So what happens is our energy tends to lower as well. So you may feel some of that coming in for you this week, feeling a little bit depressed, feeling a little bit less than who you are, wondering like, what the F is going on in my life? All right, I know I've been asking that question a lot myself, and that's what we do. That's what we do. We sit with ourselves. We ask these questions. We listen. We got to listen to the energy that comes in. And then we got to make the shifts. And sometimes that's the hardest part. When we get out of the comfort zone, it's like, oh, this feels so weird. I don't know what to do. Am I really doing the right thing? And that's where we have to just, just keep moving forward a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right? Many of us have big visions. I know I do. I'm a visionary. We have big visions. We want to just get there. But we have to take the steps. So really the thing is, is to, as you go through this week, clean up the energy, all right? We're also moving into the Chinese New Year, and it's always been known right before the Chinese New Year. Clean up, clean up, clean out, throw away, declutter, all of that energy coming forward. And by the time the weekend comes, it's like celebrate. And that's exactly the energy we're moving into this week, all right? We're going to move out of that sun sign of Capricorn into the sun sign of Aquarius, and that's part of it, which is also... It's also a foreshadowing of this whole year of 2020, all right? This Aquarius energy is more of that air, that innovative, that new idea, all right? And then all the many things we've been talking about, the Pluto energy, Uranus energy, Jupiter, all of that energy is really, really helping, forcing, pushing all of us to find that new path for ourselves, all right? It's also got a lot of that collective energy. So collaborating, working with other people, not against. All right, not against, but working with, and that's a lot of the energy coming forward. So really this week, the best thing to do is just really clean up, clear out, throw away, declutter your mind, your body, your spirit, and the physical aspects of your life as well, all right? I know even for small business owners, it's like we got to clean up our, our, our work, our files, get our business all in order, and that's the same thing for all of us. Clean that stuff up, all right, especially if it's hanging over from last year because you really want to go into this next phase, this next energy of Aquarius, this next new um, Chinese lunar, lunar um, astrology as well, fresh, all right? And it's like, I guess it's the year of the metal rat. I'll actually talk about it more on the podcast coming out next week, but that's like the first of the Zodiac too. So it's like really falling into that whole new decade, new energy as well. All right, rad is a little bit of a yang energy, and it's also seen as abundance, right, and very prosperous year, which will help you also to clean up the old stuff. I know we've been saying it a lot, and so if you haven't done it, this is like the last week to do it. It really is. So spend some time cleaning up, moving the stuff out. So as you start back the work week, all right, remind yourself to take it easy, clear out your desk, clear out your folders, clear out your files, those kind of things. Do that kind of work, all right? We're kind of moving from that Sagittarius energy today of the moon being in Sagittarius. So that's like some of that fire energy. So maybe you notice a burst of energy. Tomorrow we move more into the earth energy of Capricorn with the moon and just kind of, again, all that Capricorn energy is really forcing us to break up the patterns that we found ourselves in. And that new moon, it's the first new moon of this year, all right? If you remember, the last new moon was in December with the eclipse. This is the first one for this year. So that'll be on Friday, and that's a good time. 
Go back and look at what your intentions were, what you set for this new year. Go back and look at that and redo them. Like, are these really holding for you? Are these really good for you? Can you really work on these to help you to do that? That's what we're going to feel like this energy for the week. So really, again, if you feel the drop of energy from the dark of the moon, all right, as we move in through Wednesday, Thursday, what can you do for that? Rather than just sit there and go, oh, I don't feel good. And I tend to want to do that sometimes too, feel that depressed energy coming in. But it's like lift the energy up, clean something out, move some furniture if you have to, all right? I know I changed my upstairs that long ago. I was like, wow, what a difference. Move that stuff around and that's going to help you feel a difference in energy for yourself. All right, the tendency is to want to stay in the old patterns. It's easy. It's comfort. It's winter, right? But we don't have to. And we can take that little step forward day by day by day to help us get to where we need to be. And that is exactly the energy going forward as we move into this week. All right, so we're moving out of the old cycle. We've been talking about this all year long, that it's time to break away from those old patterns. It's time to stand in your energy stronger. And we're going to start to really feel that. And again, that energy that the sun sign switches from Capricorn to Aquarius at the end of the week is a big foreshadow of how this 2020 is going to play out. So what you could do for that is like, notice how that affects you. Notice where your thoughts are. Notice how you feel about working with other people. Do you still find yourself like, oh, I can't work with her because we compete, we're doing the same thing? Or can you feel like, oh, wow, we can join energies and magnify the energy? All right, that's all that Aquarian energy. Be innovative. Also, to your tech stuff, right? We're going to have a lot of new technology coming in. And if you've been, if you've been resisting it, you're going to see that you really need to kind of update everything that's going on, all right? This is the ways in which we do step into this new season, this new year, and this new decade with all of these things pushing on us. I mean, post below, how many people have felt like you're like, where am I? What am I doing? Why do I feel so, so different? All right, maybe you have been feeling that way, or maybe you've been feeling that push, pull, push, pull, resisting to step up, all right? I know sometimes we get so used to our comfort zone that we just wanna stay there, but it is time to step out, all right? Yes, you felt off, right? Yes, we definitely will feel off, but trust that when we sometimes feel off, when we sometimes feel that raw energy, that's where we need to be so that we can step forward feeling a more refreshed energy. And whenever you do anything new, just think about it. You start a new hobby, you start a new class, you start a new job. It's different, and you don't quite know where you are. So it takes a little bit of that time to catch up, and that's okay. All right, and I just keep telling myself the same thing. It's okay, Tara. I say to myself, it's okay. It's okay if you feel raw. It's okay if you're doing things you haven't done because that's part of it. Rather than just staying in the comfort zone, all right? We've been talking about this the last several months, and we're seeing it even more and more. And this new sun sign coming in at the end of the week is going to really help you to feel that difference that is coming forward. So get rid of whatever you can, declutter everything that you can all the way up, do all your cleaning, and then guess what? Stop. No cleaning on the weekend, all right? That's kind of a Chinese custom. No cleaning on the weekend. You don't want to stir up that new energy, all right? So do all your sweeping, all your cleaning, all your decluttering of the body, the mind, and the spirit before you get to Friday, all right? Other than that, it's, it's really not as intense this week as it has been the last few weeks. But what you may notice is the energy starts to catch up. And because we move through that dark of the moon, you may notice a little bit of drop of energy, all right? Some people are more affected than others. So take a note for yourself. How does the dark of the moon affect you until it comes into that new moon on Friday? And you'll see that mostly on Wednesday and Thursday. Notice what it does for you, all right? So let's just take a moment. Let all that energy settle. Let's bring our energy in so we can prepare for the week ahead. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a nice deep inhale, I'll light a little sage, and just really open up your energy field. Call in your higher self, and as you exhale out, pull the energy in. Pull your energy field in. Call it back. Call all the energy from this last weekend, from the week. Call your energy back. Feel yourself aligning. Feel the spiritual body coming right on top of the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel the alignment coming in. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Centering the energy, calling in, aligning your spirit. As we take this time to call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guides. And as we open up to this week, 
honoring where we are right here in the very present moment, the season of winter, as we learn in the teachings of the medicine wheel, the season of winter is the direction of the north. Where we look to our dreams, our visions, the energies of those that have crossed before us. We pull in this energy as we call in the directions for guidance and protection for this week. To the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, call in your spirit. Feel yourself connecting deep within and setting an intention for this week to release, to let go, whatever it may be for you. Feel that intention coming in right into that third eye center and then feel those elevated emotions. How will you feel when these intentions come in? Joy, peace, abundance, love. What is it for you? And let the energy rise up. Let that energy move through the auric field, sending it out, surrounding your energy field with these elevated emotions. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, releasing down all the excess energy, pulling back in your auric field, grounding your energy, feeling those intentions for you for this week. Inhaling and exhaling, grounding the energy and just imagining your week peaceful and calm as you move through this energy, clearing away all the excess clutter of the mind, clearing away the papers, clearing away your desk, your home, the body and the spirit. Feeling that energy opening up this path of newness for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Allowing that energy to radiate out, to guide you, to attract all that you need this week. Inhaling one more time, up the body. And exhale, sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Bringing the awareness back, allowing those elevated emotions to radiate out, coming back. So as we go to look for the cards for this week, working with the wild and renowned, the first card, which is our focus for all of them, I really love because it will give us that incentive to move forward. Is this the Son of Wands? So this is the energy that really is that fire, that passion. This is like stepping into your confidence, stepping into your purpose. Be your purpose as you move through this week. Even in the face of uncertainty, if you're not even sure what that is, or maybe you've stepped in and it doesn't feel normal to you, that's okay. Let the passions and desires step forward. Feel that confidence for who you are and where you are right now. That's the energy for all of us as we move through this week, all right? That will help lift that vibration, especially for the dark of the moon. Now, if you chose card number one, we have the strength card. Love this card. This gives you that courage to move through, that courage to make changes. And I love the lion with that rose in the mouth, right? So we don't have to use a lot of force, all right? It's kind of what I've been talking about with all that Saturn energy. It's like effortless discipline. All right, effortless courage. Like we don't have to work so hard, but know that you have the strength and the courage to make the changes one step at a time. All right, I love this here. That's the infinite possibility coming forward. There's so many possibilities out there. What is the possibility for you? Have the strength, have the courage to explore that and then have the passion to step forward in that energy, all right? Really two great cards together. Now the second card, if you chose this, this is that one that really is that Cuts us off, self sabotage, five of swords. All right, it's like, look at that, cut that worm right in half. And this is that mental chatter. So this is how much, how much we need to really declutter the mind. Just as important as clearing off your desk. Clear out the mind. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That's the best advice. Otherwise, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a new idea. You're going to cut yourself off. You're not going to want to move forward. Who am I to think this? Who am I to do this? Get out of that chatter. And that's exactly what this card is about because we bring it on ourselves, all right? Once you get this out, the passions and desires for who you are will come forward. And this is a perfect card for the end of the week, especially this is the Three of Cups. And this is all about celebration. And that's exactly what we want to do by the time we get to the end of the week. Celebrate. Go out with people that you love. Be that energy that really appreciates the work that you yourself have done. Be sure to tell yourself how much you love yourself. And that will radiate out all around, all right? A really great card as we move through the end of the week. All right, so again, 
be that passion, live that purpose, radiate out. Look at that snake, it's transformation. It's like, wow, that pop of energy, the orange and the yellow, that's that fire. Have the strength and the courage to be that, to live that, to find those new purpose, to be your purpose, all right? It doesn't take a lot of br brutal force, but you can ease into it one step at a time. Get out of the mental chatter. Don't let yourself be cut off. Don't let the fear set in. That's the only things that we can do for ourselves, right? Get out of that mental chatter, declutter, and then celebrate all that you've done as we come into that new Chinese lunar cycle and also into a new moon. All right, so take a nice deep inhale. And just let that all settle in. All right, now let me know how that feels for you. Let me know where this radiates out for your energy as well. Does it resonate? Does it not? Let me know. And in the meantime, a few announcements. Let's see. I did not have a podcast this week. I had so much going on. I was meeting at UAB. I was meeting with one place. I had so many meetings going on that I just did not get it. But there will be a podcast next week. No worries. Go back and catch up. Also, too, Tuesday morning at Practice Works, if you're in Birmingham, you're interested in Reiki, you want to be a part, we're trying to get a really great community going for Reiki in Birmingham. Come share how you use Reiki at Practice Works from 8 to 9 a.m. Harvest Moon's going to make us some great snacks. She always has some great things going on. So please come join us one hour before you get your day started. Let's build this community for Birmingham. All right, I do have a Reiki One class on Saturday. If you know anybody that would like to learn Reiki for themselves, please be sure to join us. And then we have the makeup class because we had such a storm on that full moon energy over at Beacon Yoga for the vision boards. All right, so if you want to join us and you didn't get the opportunity, it will be on Sunday. It is a class it's fun. We had a great time. We use the teachings of the medicine wheel. We meditate. We look at our intentions. And then we have so much fun making our vision boards. All right. Those are my announcements. All right. So if you'd like a card, let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. Take a nice deep inhale and bring this energy in. All right. Anybody out there would like a card, let me know. All right. A few, a few love few hearts. Sarah says effortless courage, right? I love it. I love it. I love it, right? Effortless discipline, too. Drawn to card one, it makes sense. A daily thing to meditate, do yoga, listen to your podcast. Thank you. I've not understood it. I do now. I keep reminding myself this is teaching me. All right. I do understand that. All right. Maris, Mayor, and highly recommend the vision boarding. All right. There we go. Yes, me too. I've had one of the things come on. I did have a little disappointment. I heard there was no TEDx Birmingham this year, and that was one of my goals. So I'll just keep it on there, and maybe it'll take me somewhere else. We will see. All right. Maris, this card is for you. All right. So this is a five of swords. So this is a card that feels like everything is up in the air. Like you've done a lot of work. This is your passion and desires. Although it seems like everything is up in the air, notice that there is a little bit of, of geometry to what's going on. So just allow all that energy to go up there. Trust, lean in that it is going to organize itself. Five is change. Nobody likes change. I mean, some people do, but most people resist it. But know that all that you've been doing, it will start to land down for you. And it may do, it may feel like everything is up in the air, but that's okay because all of these possibilities are going to come forward for you. So hang in there. Change can feel a little awkward. All right. All right, let's see, Mayor. All right, Mayor, congratulations. You got your master's, I do believe, and you got the sun card. So this is all about, like, don't give up. Know the sun is shining. Things are going to start to come through and manifest. You've got the orange and the yellow. That is fire energy. So whenever you feel like, oh, why did I do all this? Just know that energy, that sun is shining on you, and that's a victory for you. All right, great, great, great. All right, celebrate all that you've accomplished for sure. All right. Ray, this card is for you. So, Ray, we got a Ten of Swords. All right, so this can be a little bit a weird card. It looks like, oh, what happened? But the truth is, all of that mental chatter, done. Finished, put it aside. We don't want it anymore, all right? And the good thing about that is that then you can start forward with a new beginning, all right? So this is a perfect card, actually, for this week. So whatever you can do, and the swords are our mental plane, do that. Continue to meditate. Journal a little bit. That might help. Whenever we journal, we get it out of here and we get it on paper. But know that the more that you can release and let go, that one comes around and you'll have a new beginning. All right. Great in alignment for this week. All right. Mary says, awesome. Thanks. All right. Anybody else? All right. Let's see. Anybody else? Give me a thumbs up if you'd like a card. Otherwise, we will close. I'll give it another minute to come back around. 
Millie, like a card. Millie, I see you on Facebook. All right, I got a lot of hearts there. Thank you all so much. Millie, this card is for you. Two of Cups, Millie, this is like a love card. All right, so look out for that energy of love. And this is actually the Two of Love. The Two of Cups is really a love between somebody else, not just necessarily yourself. I always say start with yourself and that will radiate out. But look at where those relationships are for you and where you can really bring this energy in. All right, great card. All right, good for you, Millie. All right, anybody else? else let me know all right so it's going to be a good week the energy dark of the moon can be a little intense for some people because we tend to lose some of that vibration but be strong in what you do stay to your practice and know that as we move into the weekend it'll be a lot of fun to celebrate get your cleaning done all right your decluttering and then by friday stop cleaning all right you get a break on all of that and celebrate all the many things coming forward in this new year all right, guys, take a nice deep inhale as we go to close. Tap into your spirit. Take some time for you. Slow down. Listen to what comes forward. Be sure to get ready to clear away so that you can continue to manifest and bring those intentions into your life. Thank you so much for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.